And here, in the last chapter of Proverbs, Solomon, the noble wife. What is a good Christian wife? Thank you so much for coffee. What do you think? As a contrast to a prostitute, a wife of noble character, of a good character, a decent wife, a good woman. Who doesn't want it? Chapter 6 and 7, we read about the other dress, and even just before the mother warns King Lemuel in the beginning of chapter 33 about a bad woman not being trapped. But now, verse 10, who can find a noble wife? She is worth far more than rubies. Stefan Hager, Pakistan, summer 2022. I am recording from the Bible and reading for you with the help of my friends. Not just coffee, but with a good coffee also. The wife with a noble character, a good wife. Her husband trusts her completely. She gives him all the important things he needs. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She chooses wool and flax. She loves to work with her hands. She is like the ship of traders. She brings her food from far away. She gets up while it is still dark. She provides food for her family. She also gives some of her female servants. She considers a field and she buys it. She's a businesswoman, look. She uses some of the money she earns to plant a vineyard. She gets ready to work to work hard. Her arms are strong. She sees that her trading earns a lot of money. Her lamp doesn't go out at night. Look, she works at night even. Verse 19. With one hand she holds the wool. With the other she spins the thread. She opens her arms to those who are poor. She reaches out to her hands to those who are needy. When it snows, what does she do? She's not afraid for her family. All of them are dressed in the finest clothes. She makes her own bed coverings. She is dressed in fine and linen and purple clothes. Her husband, look, her husband is respected all over the city gates, it says. Look, there he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen clothes and she sells them. She supplies belts to the traders. She puts on strength and honor as if they were her clothes. She can laugh at the days that are coming. Why can she laugh at the days? What do you think? Because she is working hard providing and thinking ahead and making a plan. Look, she speaks wisely. She teaches faithfully. She watches over family matters. She is busy all the time. Her children stand up and they call her blessed. Look, the children stand up and they call her blessed. Her husband also rises up and he praises her. Good woman. He praises her. Look, he says, many women do noble things, but you are better than all the others. Look, charm can fool you. Beauty fades but the woman who has respect for the Lord should be praised. Give her the reward she has earned. Let everything she has done bring praise to her at the city gate. And that's the end of Proverbs chapter 20, 31, verse 31. And we are closing Proverbs of Solomon with the praise for a noble and good woman. Read it yourself in your own language, in Arabic, Amharic, in Urdu, in Hindi, in French, in German. Read it. It's the same text. It's almost 3,000 years old text. Read it and be blessed and praise your woman if you have a good one. If not, if you are single, ask God to give you such a woman to be married. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much.